Hola, como estas? Buenas tardes. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Tyler Douglas. I am back with another video. As I said before, my current posting schedule is every day, you know, Vlogmas. Today is a hair video. I decided to come together with my favorite hair products of 2023 that I think has worked best with my hair when it comes to the smell and how fast it's growing, the reduction of frizz, you know, all the things. If you're new here, hi and if you're someone who prioritizes self-care and always strives for happiness in life and becoming who you're meant to be in this life then this channel is for you i prioritize health wellness self-care self-love and fashion this is not going to go in any particular order i just so happen to have all the products that i really rock with i'm all about like refresher sprays something that really cools down my scalp and prevents itchiness and i can't stand for my skin or my scalp my hair to feel dry so i appreciate something that makes me feel moisturized all day and i can also see growth results this camille rose mint condition braid and scalp spray is sea moss and aloe vera so this is my second time buying this at first i was like eh, eh it's whatever this is my second time getting it i actually like it it's reached my list of 2023 favorites it's at the bottom of the list it's like the last entry she barely made it but she's on the list and that's all that matters you spread this in it's like it's conditioning especially since like when i wash my hair at the moment i only use shampoo to wash my hair and then when i get out out as you put in like a product that's like you know moisturizing and conditioning and this is perfect for that it's lightweight and you don't have to worry about you know, being insecure about laying your head back on a sofa or something and leaving a grease stain as if you have a jerry curl or something and it smells good i'm a fan of like a eucalyptus kind of smells therapeutic and there is no a eucalyptus in this as far as i know but it still has that kind of vibe of a smell I would recommend buying this, especially if you're new to the lock game. Maybe you have starter locks and you're looking for something to spray in your head. This is pretty good. Now, I'm not a big fan of oils. I've also, it depends on the person, but I also heard that using oil in your hair as an Afrocentric person isn't good for you, but I personally think it's to each his own. A little goes a long way with oil though. But with that being said, it's a hair oil from Bevel. I flex with Bevel. I didn't even know they made anything for locks. I was in Walmart one day and just so happened to see this product. It is a hair oil. It moisturizes, nourishes, shines. It has tea tree oil, Jehovah oil, and black castor oils. So these are all very good oils. They're very potent. So if you want to just buy a basic ass oil for your hair, you can. Tea tree oil, castor oil, well, black castor oil, Jehovah oil. Those are good oils to go to your local beauty supply store and just buy a little bottle of that and you'll be good. But if you're an overachiever like me and you want to make sure like it's made for your, your hair, your locks, this is pretty good, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. The only thing that I don't care for about it is it just smells like oil. I mean, shit, you may think, well, damn, Tyler, what is oil? But I personally like something that has a good smell. I think at the end, I'm going to rank these. I just ran out of this product. So, you know, this was bomb as fuck. But I get these. I get this from Walmart as well. This is MFL, made for locks. This is, well, this is one of the first products that I ever got when I first got my locks, though. So, I've been using it all this time. It's a Lox aloe vera spray. Moisturizes, reduce frizz, hydrates, and deodorizes. I work out a lot. I'm very physical, very active. And especially in the summertime. So I got my locks in the summer of last year. And I would be outside sweating and all that shit. And my hair would smell a lot. And I'd be like, damn, I don't know what to do. The oils and products I was using wasn't working. And I was in Walmart one day and I found this. When I tell you it deodorizes, it does everything else that it says it does too. It hydrates, moisturizes, whatever, reduces itchiness. When I tell you my hair did not smell musty anymore. Now, if you a lazy person and you don't wash your hair and you think you're going to buy something to cover it up, it can only go so far. Don't be nasty. Wash your hair. But when you lazy, spray this in there. <laughs> I think the best place an Afrocentric hair textured person can shop is a beauty supply store. I ain't talking about going in those Sally's in some suburb. Nah, go to a beauty supply store 
and they got bullet holes in the, in the walls and shit. It's going to have the best products. With that being said, this is you can tell this is old school. The growth sheen, the seven oils, it gives a sheen, style, control, prevents breakage, restores shines. It stops shedding, controls frizzing, revitalizes. By seven oils, it's saying it has like all the best oils and shit. Let me see. It got coconut oil and castor oil and kernel oil and tea tree and carrot and shea butter, vitamin E and Peruvian balsam oil and all kind of crazy shit up in here. But yeah, I recommend this. She works. Now, the last one, I think, yeah, is this Jamaican mango and lime braid refresher. I just bought this. I've been using this for about a week now. And it's uh, it has sunflower seed oil, coconut oil, aloe vera, meth methanol. Ooh, wait, what? Ooh, menthol. <laughs> Shit, finna have somebody sit on fire or something. And it's six in one. It soothes and revives. And it, it moisturizes, adds shine, and promotes growth. Now, I've been using this. I added this to the favorites list because as of right now, I haven't stopped using her and it's been a week. <laughs> Why am I giving this object pronouns? Anyway, but so far, so good. It also has a little scent. I appreciate that. The only thing about these oils, not just this one, but all of them. When I use oils in my hair, I can't do that in the morning and leave my house. I have to put oil in my hair if when I'm getting ready to wrap it up and go to bed. Because if not, oil is going to be running down my face and shit like that. And I'm falling on my clothes. I'm going to be out here melting. You know, getting in your eye, talking to people at the grocery store like this because oil coming out, I ain't got time for that. That's why I say a little goes a long way with these oils. And you really don't have to use these products every day. Me personally, maybe you're different. But um, when it comes to these thick ass oils, I just go according to how my hair feels. If my scalp feels ashy, chapped, all right, cool. I spray it directly on the, on the scalp. And I might, you know, work it down to the shaft of my hair and shit. But you will be like wiping that stuff off and getting a napkin, having to dap around your hairline and all that stuff. Let me rank these products. Number one has to be this made for locks MF MFL aloe spray. I went to Walmart today looking for it. Couldn't find her because she's very popular. She also comes with the oil. And I didn't, add, I didn't add the oil to the list because it smells really good and it also works. But it does the same effect as these two products. Number two, Bevel Hair Oil. Like I said, she's the most bland smelling one out of the group. Like she gives bottom bitch energy. She's not that pretty. This is the one that you call to bail you out of jail. Number three, Seven Oils. Oh, reliable. She's probably a cougar. Your mama age is number three. I'm going to say that Camille Rose... Brandon Scout Spray is number four. I just really appreciate how light and refreshing this product is. I really flex with this product. So number five. This is the last but not least. This is the bottom of the list. But again, like I say, I, I use her all the time. Jamaican Mango and Lime Bray Refresher. This is my top five. So comment down below. Do you recommend any more products? Because I'm still new to this product thing when it comes to my locks. So, you know, help a brother out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. More videos like this to come. And I hope y'all have a happy holidays. And I'll see y'all soon.